Julian, 63, told guests at the start of his speech that he wouldn't be swearing because he was in a church, instead replacing expletives with blanks. Mourners then played their very own game of blankety blank, in a nod to host Paul, much to their delight. Norman Corfield, church warden for St. Rumwald's Church Bonington, told the Daily Express, it was amusing and caused a lot of laughter. He started it by saying because it was in a church he wouldn't be using any swear words so he amused everybody by putting a lot of blanks in. There were lots of blanks in amongst the words he said. He was telling stories about his time with Paul O'Grady and he obviously had a great time with him and he was very fond of him. The Reverend Canon Roger Martin described Julian's eulogy as very entertaining. He spoke quite a lot about their stage life together, he said. Don't miss. Paul O'Grady's coffin buried next to grave of ex-lover Brendan Murphy, latest, Paul O'Grady's pal Julian Clary gives entertaining eulogy at funeral, news, Paul O'Grady funerals risque nod to Scylla Black and Barbara Windsor, insight, celebrity pals including Alan Carr, Ronnie Wood and Joe Brand joined Paul's family at the church for a fitting send-off on Thursday. Paul's coffin was brought to the church in a horse-drawn carriage with his husband, Andre Portasio by his side as he held their Maltese, Conchita. A photograph of Paul was placed at the front of the church while his wooden coffin was adorned with a wreath of lilies in a nod to his drag alter ego, Lily Savage. Mourners entered the church to You Gotta Get a Gimmick from the 1993 musical Gypsy. The music during the service made many nods to the TV legend's long career, including a rendition of Annie's Tomorrow by the Salvation Army Band. Paul had been starring as Miss Hannigan in a touring production of the musical prior to his death. Earlier in the day fans with their pet dogs had lined the streets of Paul's home village in Aldington in Kent to pay their respects which included a dog guard of honor. Paul, 67, died unexpectedly but peacefully at his home last month after suffering a cardiac arrhythmia linked to his ischemic heart disease.